What's up everyone, TGIF. Uh, we got two good wads on deck for today. A lot of lifting, a lot of good movements, uh, a lot of fast paced movements, so it's gonna be a good one. Um, we are going to start with our strength today. It's going to be three rounds of 30 second intervals. It's going to be 30 seconds of max dumbbell rows, 30 seconds of max hand release push-ups, 30 seconds of max Romanian deadlifts, and then 30 seconds of max regular push-ups with a one minute rest in between. So at the start of the clock, we're gonna get 30 seconds of max bent over rows with the dumbbells. You can use two just like this, or if you only have one dumbbell, we're going to be working with both hands just like this for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, we get right down on the ground and we get max hand release push-ups. So our hands come off the ground at the bottom so our body is completely on the ground, and then we push back up in a good push-up position. Now you can scale this by doing it from your knees as well. Come down, hand release up, and work in there for 30 seconds of max reps. Next, we get 30 seconds of max reps of Romanian deadlifts. So our knees are soft, we send the hips back, keeping a flat back. Come down until you feel that stretch where your back feels like it's going to be rounded over. And then come back up using the hamstrings and the glutes. All right, we're gonna work relatively quickly on this one, getting max reps in 30 seconds. If you only have one dumbbell, hold it right in the middle. Just like so. And then last, we're gonna get that back down on the ground, 30 seconds of max push-ups. Or you can do it from the knees. After those push-ups, we rest for one minute, and then we repeat this for three rounds. All right, fairly simple, four different max efforts for 30 seconds for three rounds. Now, our wad today is called eHarmony. All right, I think that's a dating website, not sure. Anyways, it is four time, and what it consists of is 30 single dumbbell deadlifts, 30 single dumbbell Romanian, or sorry, Russian swings, 30 dumbbell goblet squats, 30 dumbbell hang squat cleans, 30 dumbbell power snatches, and 30 dumbbell overhead squat, or if you don't have an overhead squat with the dumbbell, you're going to do a front squat with the dumbbell. Now, this is all done with single dumbbell. It is only one dumbbell working. Um, single arm movements. And the catch is, on the minute, for the entire time, starting at zero, you are going to do five burpees. You heard that right. So, a little bit of a catch there. It's not just working through these movements more time. You are interrupted by five burpees at the zero and then every minute on the minute there on out. All right, so there's a couple different ways to approach that, which I will get into right after I demo each of the movements. So to start, we're gonna have our dumbbell deadlifts, single hand. So with the deadlifts, you're going to alternate every five reps. So that means it's gonna start with one hand, you're gonna send the butt back, weights in the heels, touches down right by the foot, remember to stay square, and then come back up. After five reps, switch hands. All right, you're gonna work through 30 reps there. Next is the single dumbbell Russian swing. So you're gonna grab it by the end of the dumbbell. We're gonna get a nice good swing, hinge at the hips, explode the hips forward. Dumbbell comes up to eye level for 30 reps. All right, next is the dumbbell goblet squat. We flip it up, hold it in the goblet position right underneath our chin, squat down, back up for 30 reps. All right, next is 30 dumbbell hang squat cleans. So the dumbbell is going to be coming from the middle of the body. Um, we're gonna keep our arm close to our body, making sure that that dumbbell doesn't swing way up here, but it stays nice and tight. And for this movement, we will be changing arms every rep. All right, so it's gonna come from the middle. We're gonna explode up, extend the hips, down into a squat, switch, down into a squat, switch, down into a squat. 
All right, next is dumbbell power snatches. These are coming from the ground, also switching arms every rep. So from the middle of the feet, up overhead, switch, up overhead, switch, up overhead for 30 reps. And then last is the dumbbell overhead squat. Now, if you don't have the overhead squat or it feels uncomfortable, please just go front rack position. So for the overhead squat, we're gonna have the arm nice and locked out. We're gonna make sure that the elbow is facing back and we're continuing to press up into the sky as hard as we can, making sure that arm is fully locked out, elbow is close to the ear, making sure that that weight is at the center of the body. From there, we're gonna have an arm up here as a counterbalance. We're going to squat down and then back up. Squat down and then back up. All right, and then you will alternate arms every five reps on this one. Now, if you don't have the overhead squat, please don't try to force it. Come right into the front rack position and you're gonna get five squats there and then switch every five. All right, and then you're going for 30 reps there as well. Now, like I said, you are interrupted by five burpees on the minute starting at the zero for the whole duration of the workout. So the two ways to approach this are, you can either find a consistent pace where you're working the entire time and you can absolutely no problem work through this workout without stopping. So you get into your burpees, you'll do them at a good pace, you'll get up, you'll work through the dumbbell at a good moderate pace where you keep that heart rate down and you're just constantly moving, chipping away at this workout um, one by one. That's one way to address it. Now, the other way to address it, which is slightly more intense, you can do the five burpees and then work as hard as you can, as fast as you can for a set amount of time. So, if on the zero, we start, we do five burpees, and then you tell yourself you're gonna work as hard as you can until it hits 45 seconds, and then you're gonna rest for 15 seconds and then get back into your burpees. This allows you to get a ton of reps done and a lot of work done in the time that you're working because you're working at maximal effort, and then it also gives you the ability to take a breath for about 15 seconds before you get back into those burpees. So it allows for some rest in there. And this doesn't have to be 45 seconds. You can say, I'm gonna work as hard as I can for 50 seconds, or I'm gonna work as hard as I can for 40 seconds. Whatever it might be, get that game plan in your head, work as hard as you can while you're working, and then rest for the remaining time before getting back into those burpees. So, two separate ways to kind of approach this workout, both very efficient, it's just gonna be a matter of what you wanna do. Um, this is very similar to the workout that we did last week, gone in 60 seconds, where our work was interrupted with the jump rope each and every minute. So as you know, it gets a little bit tougher as the work progresses and you get more tired, the more fatigued, the harder it is to transition from the burpees back to the dumbbell. So just be aware of that. And then lastly, on the five burpees, if the burpees are taking you too long, and too long means more than 20 seconds, scale those back to say three burpees or two burpees, whatever it might be. Um, three is probably a good number. You wanna make sure that you scale this in a way to hit the proper stimulus, that you're going to be doing burpees for 20 seconds, and then you're going to be working for the remainder of the 40 seconds in the minute. All right, so if five burpees is taking you 30 or 40 seconds, please, in the essence of hitting the right stimulus for this workout, scale those burpees back. It is absolutely no problem, no harm, no foul. You are hitting the right stimulus for this workout to get better by scaling those back. The burpees are intended to be quick and just to disrupt your consistent movement in the dumbbell workouts. So if that's three burpees, if that's two burpees, if it's five burpees, whatever it might be, it depends on you and your relative intensity. So take that bit of information, figure it out, it might be two minutes into the workout that you figure it out, fine, so be it. But try to get a game plan in your head of how you're going to attack it, put it your best interest forward to make sure that you hit the stimulus, and then we will get the best results out of this workout. All right, any questions, shoot me an email, send me a text message, otherwise, enjoy your Friday workout, it's a good one, get ready for a good weekend, the weather is still nice, and have a good one, we'll see you tomorrow.